Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Yeah, Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. And over the past couple of months, especially in the year 2020 so far, we've been paying a lot of attention to what some of the cast members from various Marvel movies have been up to. With so many people at home, there's been a lot of really interesting things posted online. And a lot of the actors from the Marvel Universe have really gotten involved in making some really creative things along the way. And while we've covered a lot of these videos and moments already, there's still more constantly being put out and we wanted to talk about them a bit more. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this video. First, we wanted to talk about Hugh Jackman, who of course is known for his role in the Wolverine movie movies and the X-Men universe, and he actually gives a really cool shout out to all of the essential workers and reminds us all that we should be wearing a mask. The shout out to all the essential workers who are working tirelessly around the clock all around the world. You guys are on the front lines and your selflessness is making it possible for people like me to be at home and to be safe. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And for anyone who's listening to this, don't forget, wear a mask. Then we can look to Brie Larson, who actually started her career as a musician and more recently has been posting a lot of really awesome content on her social media pages. She recently did a very interesting cover song. I'm doing good, I'm on some new shit. Been saying yes instead of no. Then we got to see Ryan Reynolds, the actor of Deadpool, make an announcement referring to the community and what he wants to do to try to make a step towards some change. Hey, it's Ryan Reynolds from the same wooden background. Yeah. Today we're announcing something I'm super excited about. It's called the Group Effort Initiative. Uh, now making a movie that, well, it's a group effort. Uh, but for entirely too long, that group has systemically excluded black, indigenous, people of color, and a whole host of other marginalized communities. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, COVID willing, which is a weird thing to say, I'm gonna be starting a movie this fall, and I'm committing to bringing between 10 and 20 trainees from the BIPOC community and any and all other marginalized communities of all ages. Wait, all ages? Yes, because it's never too late. I myself am actually way older than I appear on set. Ryan Reynolds looks like without the whole, you know, beauty makeup. Okay, that's enough for that. Chloe Bennett, one of the actresses who is in the TV show Shield, did some really interesting behind the scenes stuff. Analog BTS stuff that I have from Shield. Yeah. We have, I mean, who is that? Who are they? Ugh, this is crazy. I don't even know when this came out. But this is so funny that I have this, and uh, wow, wow. Absolute babies. Babies, babies, baby, baby, everyone's a baby. Wow, crazy. And then I saved my little Comic-Con badge from 2013. Ugh, I'll always remember this day. It was so crazy, the bus ride, all of it, but you know, this little thing. And then the last one, in 2019, Hall H and my original that's... audition sets for Sky. Look at the date. I mean. And then we talked about this one a little while ago, but Tom Holland got to talk with that little boy who saved his sister from a dog attack. And that was a really cool thing to see. He even invites him to come and be on set of Spider-Man 3, which would be shooting very soon, which is actually the first confirmation that they're going to be shooting Spider-Man 3 very soon. What movie are you watching right now? Homecoming. He's, he's 
Robert Downey Jr. FaceTimed one of his friends talking about the importance of voting in this year's election and a casual conversation. It's friend in the whole wide world. You know why I'm calling you today? Uh, tell me everything. It's a hundred days until voting time. No. Yes. So you have to convince me to vote and I have to convince you to vote and all friends need to convince their friends to vote. I am a voter. Today is a uh, hashtag register a friend. You need to encourage all your other friends to vote I'm as do well. Whatever you say, uh, you can text friends to two six seven nine seven to register and receive updates. I'm going to tag ten friends. We're going to meet this goal. That's perfect. Uh, what else important are you doing today? You selling vagina candles? What are you up to? Oh wait. Okay, good. And, I made you uh, a new candle. It's it's just for you. It smells like my taint and it's gonna be the <laughs> We got to see Chris Evans answer some fan questions. During this unprecedented time, what was your form of entertainment during quarantine? Were you able to improve or pick up a new skill? Uh, during quarantine, I had uh, my, my younger brother, Scott, with me out here in Massachusetts, and, uh, and we just became children again. I mean, we kind of are anyway, um, but, but it was a lot, of, uh, a lot of games, a lot of competition. We played uh, in, uh, ping pong and uh, soccer, tennis, and wiffle ball. We, we went on a lot of hikes. I got, I got a bunch of hikes near my house, so we would take my dog on hikes, some mountain biking. We even saw Kat Dennings, the actress who was in the first two Thor movies, doing some gardening. Michael Douglas, who plays Hank Pym in Ant-Man, gave us an update on the future and on Ant-Man 3, which looks like is still going to be going ahead. What can you tell us about the status of Ant-Man? coming out pretty soon but i can't tell you and elizabeth olsen the actress who plays the scarlet witch and will be getting her own disney plus show sometime in the future did a reading of a children's book which is really cool as well trying to understand why he kept telling everybody he had a horse when he did not the next day by the swings he was telling a bunch of little kids about his beautiful horse with its white coat golden mane, saying she had the biggest brownest eyes of any horse. So I yelled from the monkey bars, he's lying. Adrian Simcox does not have a horse. Even though I was upside down, I could see that made Adrian Simcox This is a message for Bridger. Hey, Bridger. Captain America here. How you doing, buddy? Uh, so, so I read your story. I saw what you did. Now, I'm sure you've heard a lot of this over the last couple days, but let me be the next one to tell you, pal, you're a hero. What you did was so brave, so selfish. I'm going to send you an authentic Captain America shield because, pal, you deserve it. Keep being the man you are. We need people like you. Hang in there. I know recovery might be tough, but based on what I've seen, I don't think there's much that can slow you down. So what did you guys think of some of these moments? Is it cool to see these actors and actresses stepping in and making creative content during this time? Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Also, be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this one uploaded every single weekday. We'll see you guys all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. I'm about to. Hi everybody. Hey everybody, how you doing? Hi. <laughs>
Hi, 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 hi. 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 See you guys.